nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Good morning, good morning, guys We got our cup of coffee We are ready to roll Let's have a look Well... It's raining again, not like we didn't have rain all week last week. Ah, with some good coffee. Yeah, I put uh, a couple of bananas here ready for me. And I have a couple of bananas a little bit later down the road somewhere. So I don't need to reach to the back somewhere to try and get them, you know. So uh, anyways, let's get out of here. Yeah before this starts freezing stuff you know because it's only like six six degrees I think it was showing on the internet so that is uh, very close to freezing point so let's get out of here alrighty guys we've been cruising for a while yeah it started raining or it was raining this morning when I woke up and it's still raining I don't know what it is but just seems to be raining all week long again. Rain go away, rain go away, right? <laughs> My wipers aren't liking it too much. They're starting to squeal every once in a while anyways. But it's okay. I just put new wipers on there about a month ago, so... They're still in good condition, but I guess maybe the coating that they have on them or whatever has gone off of it now because I've had to use them so much over the last two weeks now, it's just been crazy. Yeah, well, looks like we got, uh, I don't know, maybe another 70 miles to go up to Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah, so we should be rolling through uh, Chicago today at a decent time. Mind you, it's Saturday, so traffic shouldn't be as bad. But they still got a good ways under construction there just before Chicago. So, that might still slow us down a little bit, but other than that, we're just having a fantastic day. Just cruising along and enjoying the day. Although if it's Saturday, there's not as many trucker friends out there, so you can't really call as many friends, you know, when you're on the on the weekend shift. But it's okay. I guess we just listen to music then a little more. <laughs> Today it seems like I'm into music. I haven't listened to music in a while, so. Matter of fact, I haven't even listened to the radio for a while either. <laughs> I haven't had my radio turned on probably in the last two weeks. So maybe we'll be tuning into some more shows again. I know I used to uh, listen to Dr. Laura every single day. I don't know, maybe for the last month it's just not been there, you know. I don't know why. I get these swings, you know, like every once in a while I'll... I'll get into the rhythm of listening to a radio show and I'll be on that for a couple of months and then I'll get tired of it. And then I'll uh, be into something else, you know. And then I gotta do something different. I like to change up things every once in a while, you know. I don't like the, doing the same thing or listening to the same thing every single day, you know. That gets bored. Yeah! Anyways! I don't know, even know where we're going to be stopping at. We'll probably be stopping in there maybe in the next half an hour, 45 minutes. Take my half an hour break. And then continue again, but until then, we'll just cruise along. Here we go, guys. We just had ourselves a little bit of a pit stop. And just past Portage, Wisconsin. Yeah, had our half an hour break. Now we're ready to roll again. 
I don't know what those guys would be doing with them little boats or whatever you want to call it. But this is a fairly big rest area. I bet you they're, they probably can park a hundred trucks in there. Because I didn't even stop all the way at the end. There was plenty of room at the other end yet too. Oh yeah, they got lots of room up here as well. Just as big as a lot of truck stops, even bigger than some truck stops. Gotta make sure no four wheelers come out of the rest area, you know. Let's get back on the big highway, inner stage. Yeah, these are actually uh, fairly new rest areas. They were here all the time, but they were upgraded here a couple of years ago. They are fairly new buildings and everything, very nice and clean. Very nice uh, ra uh, rest areas, you know. So. As you can see, it's still raining, but it's almost cold enough to where that rain could freeze, you know, so that's not good. But no matter what, we got to continue on, we really do. Well guys, we have been cruising for a good while again. We managed to get to Chicago with no problem. Still a lot of construction in there, but uh, no problem getting through there. Yeah, I was yapping away there on the CB radio there with a couple of other drivers that are going through there, so didn't make any video footage up there, but it was nice talking to those guys. You know, nowadays you don't get a lot of people talking on a CB radio anymore, you know. It used to be like you couldn't get a word in on a, on a CB radio, but now it's just like nobody seems to have their CB on or doesn't want to talk to you no more or whatever, you know. But uh, yeah, we're in Indiana already. We're on the uh, toll highway I-80. Yep. Don't really know how far we're going to go, but... Uh, we might go another 130 miles and we might be done for today. That's right. So, uh, yeah, another 130 miles, about two hours, a little over two hours, and we'll be done for today. We got 3.30 in the afternoon. I think we got a rest area coming up here pretty soon. I might just pull in there and take a quick uh, circle check on my tires and see if everything is still in good working condition because that's what we're supposed to do every few hours we're supposed to do a circle check they call it yeah it looks like another 10 miles we got a got a uh, rest area coming up so yeah we might just pull in over there and have was a little bit of a break but it looks like it's lightening up with the rain too. They're up in Chicago. It was coming down pretty heavily there for a little while. Yeah. But that's okay. That time of the year, I suppose. Just talking to Trucker Jukebox there a little bit. And talking a lot about his new Volvo truck that he's got. That must be nice having a nice new Volvo like that. And I'm just happy I finally paid this truck off and I don't have no more payments on this truck. Matter of fact of speaking, tomorrow is my last payment on my APU unit. And that will be done for paying for that. Now well, then I can say I officially own that as well. Yeah, that will give me a good feeling. That will give me another $450 a month that I don't have to pay on that, you know. I'm going to be really happy about that, that's for sure. Anyways, that's about all I got right now, so we'll continue on and see what the rest of the day will bring us. It is in the evening, 
we have parked for tonight. Look at that. It's still raining. Of course it is. What else am I getting all week long? Started last week Sunday and it every single day that I've been on the road it's been raining. Pretty much, yeah. I think the only day it didn't rain I think it was Friday. Friday and Thursday when I was at home it didn't rain, but every other day it's been raining. I guess we're getting free truck wash left and right. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. But we already finished having some dinner. I cooked me some more chicken breast tonight and had me a couple of more sandwiches tonight, so clean that all up already and put my video together. It's rendering right now. So uh, we are pretty much ready to go to bed now. And uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, they're changing the time tonight. So I better get my ass into bed because otherwise I lose an hour, right? So let's do that. Let's go into bed. Let's go have a good night's sleep. Be sure to stick around tomorrow. And we'll see what we'll be able to show you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. behind me that day is gonna come